Heck yes I am. I totally agree with you, Box. I am rad. This is a Rad Rover. You guys who have watched the channel for a few years will remember that I have done a Rad Rover unboxing and assembly video in the past. So this is their new model, which I still have mine. It still works great. We've had zero issues with it, and it's been awesome out on the ranch. But this one, more awesome. Awesomer. Awesomer, more, more awesome. Most awesomest. How to get it out. Zip tied. I can fix this. Got it. Zip ties are easier to get out than I thought. It's really stuck. It looks really cool. It looks cooler than the last one. Okay, I think I can just pick it all up now. And today, we are going to talk about some of its quirks and features. This is a Rad Power Bikes electric bike. It's called the Rad Rover 6 Plus. I have the Rad Rover 5. So this is the latest and greatest iteration of the off-road electric bike. You can see it has big, fat, off-road tires on it. We have big 60 millimeter shocks up front. And then we also have disc brakes front and back. They are actually upgraded from the last model. These are hydraulic disc brakes, so they apparently work really good. I have yet to try it out. This is our battery pack, so it's like semi-integrated. The frame is totally redesigned on this thing to be a little stouter. Looks freaking awesome. And then the user interface up here is redesigned as well. So you hit that, turn everything on. This is your pedal assist selector, so you can say, I just want it to assist me a little bit when I pedal, or you can say, I want it to assist me a lot. Uh, yep, that's your battery right there. I'm figuring all this out as I go here. This is a headlight. So we have a headlight up here. I can turn it off. Oh wait, yep, there we go. And then this is your digital readout. So you have your speed here. This is your odometer. It's gone 0.1 miles so far. And the time. Yeah, way wrong. Pedal assist means when you pedal, it helps you. So you can either do it that way where you just pedal this like a normal bike and the motor kicks in and helps it to make it easier, make you go faster, or you can use like a motorcycle. This thing twists here just like a motorcycle and we'll start spinning that back tire whenever you give it throttle up here. You also have gear selector here so you can change the gearing. We have single gear in the front and you have a few in the back back here. And then that is actually our motor. So it's a custom geared hub motor and this one over my other one has a lot better hill climbing capabilities is what it said. This geared hub helps you get off the line quicker, get up to speed quicker, get up hills easier. So that is pretty much the main differences. I mean, there's a lot of minor differences. That's the main differences between this one and my other one. It also has uh, these fenders that I took off, which is kind of sad because this one does have a light, a tail light on the back, a brake light. I took them off because it's good when you're in town driving around in streets, makes sense. We never ride this in town. This is off-road only for what we use it. We use my other one at the ranch all the time. So I use it a lot when I'm filming Demolition Ranch videos, actually. And you'll see it parked out there in the background of a lot of Demolition Ranch videos. We don't leave it out there. That's just, we take it out there because a lot of time, invariably, we'll forget something, a target or ammo or something. And so we use the Rad Rover to go back get the ammo and come back so we don't have to start a truck up and go back and forth. It just makes it easier. So we use this thing, uh, my other one, like freaking every week. We use it all the time. So now we have the, the newest, latest, and greatest model. So we're gonna put it on the charger now. It does have about half battery, but I wanna crank this thing up all the way and see what it feels like on full charge. While I was working on the bike, I also have been charging another vehicle, a much, larger vehicle. What up, fire truck? This is Master Chief. And as I was telling you guys in the last video, we just have 
two batteries now instead of four. You can see there's spots for two more over here. But according to our research, we don't need those. The four batteries are so that you can have more amps for cold weather starting when it's like, you know, 20 degrees, which is very rarely ever that cold in Texas. So we decided to save some money just by two. They're hooked up, so they're 24 volt but it did seem to be having a little problem starting. It just doesn't seem like it has enough cranking amps. So I was like, maybe the batteries are low. So I've been charging them, get them topped off. Let's see how it starts now. Graceful as always. That. Yeah. Sorry for the, the screeching right now. Let's just go ahead and turn that off, that beeping. Uh, that, I think, is just not enough cranking amp. I mean, it finally cranks, so that's how it has been. I've done that like three different days, tried to start it to drive it somewhere, and it just And finally we get enough to turn it over and crank it, so I think we are gonna have to buy some new batteries. I've been charging that for several, I think like two hours. I don't think it's a low battery problem, I think it's a not enough battery problem. So I was wrong. Gotta get more batteries. Just say dinner. This thing's been charging for a couple hours. We have a full charge. Yeah. One arm riding. Not the smartest thing I've ever done, especially when I'm going off road like I'm doing now. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even giving any gas. It's just going. It's just rolling downhill. Ah. <laughs> really need a GoPro right now, Matt. That would be smart. All right, let's floor it. Yeah. You can hear that motor? Nice, quiet electric motor. We're going off-road, 20 miles an hour. Whoa, look at all the deer. Aha! So this is the Rad Rover 6 Plus. Uh, and my affiliation with the company, just to be clear, uh, they did send me this bike. They did not pay me anything. They didn't tell me what to say. But I've had my other Rad Rover for four years or something, and I mean, I love it. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm sure this one will be the same. So I'll link this thing in the description below. It's pretty sweet. We're actually gonna go to Demolition Ranch real quick. Got something to show y'all. So I showed you us starting to build the pad. Check this out. It's hard for you guys to see scale, but the ground that I'm standing on here is five feet below the top of that right here. So we've been bringing tons of this base in so that we can get this thing level but also get it up because Crispy got stuck right over there. Uh, the same level this ground was here and it was just a freaking muddy mess. So we wanted to make sure that we can get the ground up, get it packed and to where we can later dig a river that will go around way far away from this building to where water is not gonna be an issue here. So spent a bunch of money bringing all this dirt up with good, hard base material here. And then every layer, when the trucks would come dump a big load, we'd pack it all down. <sighs> Trying to make this thing nice. Crazy looking. You can see my truck over there, how tiny it looks. So wild. So, as you can see, they have the little, I don't know what you call these things, these little flags on these stakes. So they've put stakes in, and the flags just mark where the stakes are. The stakes are all down to the right level, so they're all on the same level, which is the level we need to get all of this. So they come in here, they pack it all down layer by layer, these big piles you can see. So the 18-wheeler just dumps the pile of base. They pack it layer by layer, then they put the stakes in, they use a laser level to make everything the right level, and then they come in with a big scraper, a blade, and they make it all perfectly level so that we can come in and start putting our slab down. That's the plan next. And you gotta like dig some big channels for the beams and everything in the slab. But you'll see that later too. There's gonna be a giant slab out here. This is crazy. I really like construction projects, as you guys know. And the bunker was super fun to do. The house project's been super fun to do. The small little demo HQ was really fun to do. So this is gonna be just a bigger version of that demo HQ. It's probably what we should have done in the first place. I didn't realize how small, like, and Eric told me, he was like, this is, you're gonna want this bigger, and we actually made it bigger than I wanted, because I just kinda wanted a little, small, little, little house, and he was like, you should do it bigger, so we did. And now I'm like, yeah, we should've done it way bigger. So we're doing that now. One thing that's kinda weird is we've told you that the Demo HQ and Demolition Ranch is all on the same property as the, the big, not abandoned house on the hill, 
but we've never like been able to show you that because they're really far apart. It's a large property. But if I zoom in between that tree right there and I kind of creep forward here, you can see it right there through the trees a little bit. It's on the top of that hill. See it? You can totally, that's it. That's the not small house on a hill. And that's the first time you guys have ever seen it when we're down here at the Demo Ranch HQ. All right, I'm driving over here because I want to show y'all for those. I'm, I'm giving you guys some knowledge for those who like haven't seen every single video. Some people are probably like, what are you talking about the small Demo HQ? I'll show you real quick. That building, oh look, there's a nice little Suburban, totally not up armored. This is the Demo Ranch HQ that we've been using. Uh, we do all of our, basically all the supplies we need for making the Demo Ranch videos are there. Plus we got like a barbecue pit over there. We hang out and have lunch on Fridays out here. Oh look, there's a little bike over there on the porch that we use a lot for all the videos. It's just where we kind of run all of the Demo Ranch videos and it works really well. So I was thinking if the small one works really well, the big one will work really, really, really well. Ideally. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Off The Ranch. More crazy stuff to come. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that, number? Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare.